Hey y'all, this is a clip of how I was looking and feeling after my surgery. Next, I'll go into detail of how my surgery day went. If you're against breast augmentation, please exit this video. Rude comments will be deleted. Thank you. Came to Walmart for absolutely nothing. Well, actually we came for something. We got a couple of groceries in here. And she didn't eat all day, so. So now we're waiting on Walgreens that has us on hold forever. I'm tired. Are you tired? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, you ain't gonna be disappointed later though. Yeah. It will. Well, I just wanna tell you this one thing. It costs to be beautiful. It costs pain and it costs money. So without that gotta buy it pay for makeup it's expensive to be beautiful you gotta pay for everything else you need so it costs to be beautiful expensive it's 6 23 the day after my surgery yesterday was horrific it was horrible like I'm not even gonna lie yesterday made me want to get no more surgeries and I'm not getting any more surgeries um, I don't even know where I should start Um, I got there at nine on a dot. They didn't take me till what time? Like twelve, right? Twelve thirty. They took me at twelve thirty, which I thought was ridiculous. But I know I had to fill out like a lot of important information. Sign papers. I didn't talk to a doctor till about twelve. Um probably because we get you're supposed to be there the day before, maybe. But they told me to come early. Mm -hmm. And I did. Um then when I got in there they took me in. They did my IV and everything. And um, after they did my IV, a doctor came in to look at my chest. And like all the doctors, except for like two doctors, it was like running around looking confused. Code Blue, 507 West. Patient in critical condition. Trying to match up like my paperwork and the main doctor came in and he was like excuse me sweetie what were you supposed to be getting and I told him like breast augmentation and he was like looking at the paperwork and going off one of the other people like who wrote this stuff down on her paper this is not the right thing like mad then he turned to me he was like I'm so sorry uh, for the inconvenience, the confusion, I'm gonna take care of you, don't worry. So he made me feel very comfortable. The other doctor that kept calling me Ma, he made me feel so comfortable. He was like, he was the best. Him and the main doctor, they were the best. Everybody else, it was like hit or miss. They didn't really make me feel too comfortable with the doctors I was in the room with I knew that I had the guy that called me Ma he was in the room in my surgery in my surgery and the main doctor was in my surgery so I knew that they wasn't gonna let nothing bad happen um but when I got out this is when it got worse all I remember when I got out of my surgery 
is um I was drowsy because they put me to sleep when I woke up I still wasn't fully awake but I got fully awake real quick because I started feeling all types of pain I felt all the burning sensations I felt the heaviness that everybody was talking about like you feel like you got bricks on your chest I felt all of that like I felt everything I can't even describe everything because the pain was like so unbearable my mom is my witness I immediately started crying and I, I just remember my head going from side to side like this like doing a whole bunch of this stuff like trying to get myself together trying to look around um I remember all of that but they ran me outside in a wheelchair went right past my mom my mom been waiting for me in the lobby since I went in they went right past her why I don't know but if my caretaker is in the lobby why would you go past her where are you taking me so that was a huge issue why they didn't give me any medicine or anything after the surgery I don't know but they did give me a prescription they told me I could go to Walmart Walgreens Rite Aid or anybody like Publix. or Publix they said I could go to any pharmacy area we decided to go to the area that's closest to the hotel that we're staying at which was Walmart and we went to Walmart Walmart would not take my prescription I needed Percocets and a couple of other things. My prescriptions were on paper and they would not give it to me. So imagine I had already felt every single ounce of pain right after my surgery. We were in Walmart for about how long? Two hours? Maybe more than that. Three, I could say. Almost three hours. And when I say I'm feeling pain, people looking at me like I'm crazy. I had my blanket um over my my chest and my blanket covering me. And um shivering. Shiver oh my god, that's another thing I forgot to tell y'all. I was shaking like a stripper for real because I was so cold and a doctor that was calling me Ma, he was like he said, you're slightly anemic. He said, do you like eating ice a lot? I was like, no. But I said, I know I get cold often. Is that that from me? I know. I told him. I was like, my mother is anemic. He was like, okay. He said, you're not like anemic to the point where it would hinder your surgery process or it will harm you. But you're slightly anemic. So he was like, make sure you um, do what you got to do for that. And I was like, okay, thank you. But when I got out of that surgery... I was not only feeling all the pain, but I was cold. Like, I was looking crazy. When I tell you I was shaking, I was crying. Like, I was just like, my whole body was like, what the freak? My body was going crazy. So, for me to be in Walmart for three hours in that same pain was the worst nightmare. I wouldn't wish that on nobody. Give you my medicine. I wouldn't wish that on nobody. So yeah, my mom ended up giving me her medicine that she takes and it calmed me down a lot. So I was, after a while I was in Walmart, just looking like, I was looking like I had COVID, I ain't gonna lie. Cause people was, <laughs> keep, people was looking at me like, oh, she got COVID. You okay? I ain't had no mask on because I couldn't even breathe y'all. Like I literally could not breathe. I didn't worry about putting no mask on. So I didn't care who was looking at me. I'm not putting no mask on. Because y'all don't know my situation right now. And you didn't. I didn't. I realized that too. I did not care. Not even in the Uber. Not Nowhere. Nowhere. Not in no Uber. Not in no store. My mask was off. I was free balling all day. And because I know God got his protection over me. I don't have any COVID. I just came from Cancun. I got my test results. So I don't have COVID. 
I needed to take a COVID test to even do this procedure for my breast. So I know I'm COVID free and I know I have God has his protection over my body. But other than that, I wasn't thinking about none of that. I was thinking about I need to be able to breathe. I'm feeling so much pain. I need air. So I did not put no mask on the entire day. After I left the surgeon, they didn't even put no mask on me. And I'm just glad they didn't because I would have started screaming. Like, I would have probably, I was going crazy. So, I didn't have no mask on. But, um, people was looking at me. Like, I had to go to use the bathroom. I could barely do anything by myself. I don't see how people were saying they could go. Well, they got their surgery and they was, like, fine afterwards. I was thinking, and I knew I was going to jinx myself. I had a feeling. I was trying to tell myself, stop watching these videos. Stop watching these videos and I didn't listen because I wanted to know as much information as I could but you know what it's good that I did watch them because the doctors didn't tell me shh they didn't tell me nothing so everything that I figured out from the videos was because I watched them they literally didn't tell me how to sleep well this one girl did because I asked her not because she was running me through the list it's because I asked her Nobody told me nothing. Um, the only thing that they told me is that I couldn't eat. And this was the day before. They told me I, I couldn't eat after 12 a.m. for the rest of the day. That's the only thing that they told me. Other than that, they didn't tell me anything. Everything I knew is because I did my research. But what I was saying was, I don't see how people was like, oh, I was fine right after my surgery. I was able to walk. I was able to do this. I couldn't do nothing by myself. And when I was in a Walmart, I had used the bathroom by myself. I was in so much pain. I was like, oh, no. Next time, I need my mother to help me. I came out the stall, and this lady was looking at me. Everybody was looking at me like I was crazy. I got this big old blanket drenched over my chest, over my shoulders, walking slow. My face looked all type of scrunched up. On. Yeah, and I got these hospital socks on. So the lady was like, looking at me coming out the stall and she was like you okay baby and I was like and she was like you just woke up and I was like that's all y'all gonna get out of me is a yes and a no so don't keep talking to me cuz I'm not opening up my mouth especially cuz all I was thinking about all I was thinking about was needing my prescription but um yeah, this type of pain. Mm-hmm. They did that right. You didn't want me to get no other type of procedures. Just just say that. Because I'm definitely not. I was thinking about, like, you know, doing simple things. Like, you know, tightening up, like, my stomach and stuff. Mike could still do that. Everything is different. No. Everything is different, though. I'm good. I work out. I go to the gym. My stomach already flat, so I ain't even gonna go the extra mile to make it extra crazy. I could do that myself. I'm good, cause if you felt this pain. I don't know. I don't know what. My body is definitely different from the the videos I watched, cause my body was like, "What are you doing?" Like, I wanted to vlog me yesterday, like. The way I was looking and feeling. But I'm glad that I didn't. Because I don't want to discourage anybody who's looking forward to getting an augmentation. I'm just letting y'all know that. Everybody is different. So don't expect your pain tolerance to be like someone else's. Um, yeah. And you listen but, to the people who had got theirs done. Because they had got theirs done yesterday. They was right in the office. Everybody yeah. was telling me they experienced. Yeah, they so got theirs done the day before me. Yours was so different. So different. But yeah. Just know your process might not be like somebody else's process. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling a whole lot better. Thank God. I could not even talk yesterday. Like, if y'all heard me talking. Y'all would have been like, yo, poor baby. Didn't I sound crazy? Mm -hmm. 
I sound like I couldn't breathe. Yeah, I had to put stuff around your neck so your neck wouldn't keep falling back. Your head kept dropping. Yup, my head kept dropping. My head was dropping. Okay, so she had to wait in line at Walmart to see if they were ever going to give me my prescription or if we could work something out. Y'all, if y'all know me, I be quick to go off sometimes. I couldn't even be on my type of time because I couldn't even barely speak. I was telling my mother, give, give me the phone. Let me talk to them. I tried to talk to them right, Mom. Mm -hmm. Couldn't even, the lady, I know the lady was on the phone. Like, oh my God. Thing. I was going up on her too. Yeah, I was telling my mom, you got to go off on them. Even you got to the tell them off. Who rolled past you? I was mad. I mean, rolled past me. Like, what the hell is Yeah, I'm on? in the cart and the lady going, ride past my mom with me in in the in the wheelchair like you know we've been in here all day you know that's my mom why wouldn't you tell her i'm done why would you ride past her insane he sounds like why did you just ride past me you see yeah. a damn uber out here yeah and we gotta call well she gotta call uber because i couldn't do nothing i could barely use my phone Say, like, I'm calling an Uber for her. But why did you ride past me? That's my question. Man, it's raining out here. You yeah, it was raining. Uber sitting here? That pissed me off immediately. I was like 2,000, not even 100, 2,000 more pressure. And I couldn't even tweak, y'all. I was so mad. I had so much energy in me. I wanted to go off, but I couldn't. Because I was in so much pain. That's why I was talking to them like that on the phone because I was just mad from the door. Like when I seen you come out, I was like happy smiling and she right past like I don't know you. Like what the hell? Yeah. But right now, one of my arms is stronger than the other, which is the arm that's holding this camera. My right arm I could do more with than my left. I know I write with my right, but it's something about the pain that I feel in my left. I'm like, mm -mm. I don't want to use that. But yeah. All in the ways, these results better be freaking popping. I'm going to let y'all know. Y'all will see. So just stay tuned. Just had to tell y'all that horror story. I'm just praying it gave me the right size. Because right now they look huge. But they said it has to go down, right? They, right, they, they said it had to go down. That's, uh, that's all they told me. Oh, they did gonna say that. It's going to go down. Mm-hmm. Other than that, they didn't tell me not a dang thing. Everything I know is because I did my research. If they look big, maybe. Yeah, y'all. And I never had big breasts. That's good to do. My say. back was hurting. <laughs> That's what I was thinking about. The first thing when you said my back was hurting. I was like, yes, because oh, I was like, you bad. have to help me from my back. They better time, not be. Because well, I'm going to go off on them. When people got big boobs, it's like... They, they back to, hurt. Yeah. I can't move. I have a chiropractor. You're back. And that's the first thing you said. I was like, what the hell? Yeah, my mother had to help me get out of my bed, but I told her, can you go behind my back <laughs> and help push me up? Because that'll help. My you back said hurting. even in the Uber, you was like, my back hurt my back. And I was like, what the hell they do to your back? Like, I was thinking. And I was like, are they too big? They better not be. Cause I'm not trying to go back under the table. I'm not trying to back. I'm not trying to go back on that tape. Did you see that lady? Oh my god. What lady? The one uh, who I told you her chest had bust open. Oh my god. When I heard that story about the lady who chest bust open, no, I told her don't show me. Remember? Mm -hmm. I said don't show me because then I I knew if she showed me, and I already paid my money, so I knew if she showed me, I wasn't going. She, I see. And that would have been the money out the window. Just how we like, did them uh, ski boats, and oh I was yeah. like, I'm not, I'm not doing this. Mm -hmm. It would have been just like that. That's why I was like, 
don't tell her, don't show me. Because if she show me, I'm not doing this she surgery. show everybody. And it look bad. I couldn't even believe it. Like, it was her chest, and you see her yeah. nipple, and it just split the hell open. I was like, is that your chest? And she was like, yeah. That's why I came back here. And she was like, I'm not even mad at them. And she was like, she had a scab on it. And she was like, she thinks she was washing it the wrong way, but again, why scab? And she said when she pulled it off her skin, just it looked just like something horrible. Cause it looked like a, a nipple here and just meat just hanging out. Like somebody took a knife and cut it. And I was like, ah. Oh. And she was like, this is how it looked. I'm glad I didn't look. Yeah, I couldn't even believe like, what the hell, what happened? You see the nipple and you see it split right down the middle, open up like somebody took a razor and split it. And she said she had a reduction and a lift. So that's why they cut it that way and underneath. And she was like she had a scab, she pulled the scab off and it just busted open like it was so nasty. The only thing, it wasn't blood on it, but it was just open, like they had to stitch her back up. And she was like, that's the reason why I'm back here. And she said they have to fix it, but she said that she didn't have to pay for them to fix it, but she had to pay for the anesthesia. So she had to use somebody's credit card. It, she said she had to pay $500 for the, to get under that anesthesia, but for them to repair it, she didn't pay anything. Because I was like, why is she paying again if she already got it done? That's what right. I was thinking to my mom. So. But they made that mis- Well, maybe it could have been her. She didn't know how to properly do it. Yeah. But still, that shouldn't happen. Exactly. So she shouldn't be hard. paying anything. I don't know. I wouldn't. She kept Like, why anything. is my boob open? Open up. Y'all like, got to tell me something. Y'all got to do something about this. Because I ain't paying y'all squat. <laughs> 